Hi everybody, welcome to Artistic Adventures. We're going to continue our Snow White doll project today and we're going to be focusing on the face up in this video. So let's get started. The last time you saw this uh, doll, she had the cap on and we had glued it down and now I've trimmed it and we have the wig cap. So I'm going to just set that aside for now. We'll work on that later when we make her wig. But the first thing I did was to put down some layers of the matte medium with my airbrush. And I showed you how to do that in my airbrush video. And put down three coats of that. And now we're going to take this sort of fluffy makeup brush and some uh, pastel chalk. And we're going to make her face just a little bit whiter because she is snow white. And after we put this on, uh, and this is just... A powder basically we're gonna put another couple coats of the matte medium down to hold it in place because once when you put this down it's really difficult to draw on top of it so you want to go ahead and seal that in so I'm gonna go off camera and put a couple coats of the matte medium down again let that dry and now we're ready to get started putting this in and by the way I'm listening to Taylor Swift's new album reputation and it's really good while I'm doing this. Anyway, um, Ray uh, sent me some pictures of Snow White that she liked and I'm going to kind of be using a combination of these and um, most of the thing that you need to think about with this is in these pictures Snow White is always smiling and Monster High Dolls are made with a very sort of neutral expression so um, it's a little difficult to really get a huge smile, but we're going to try to quirk her lips up on the edges and get a little bit of a smile. But um, overall, she this doll's face is molded not really in a smiling situation. So we're going to start off with uh, just using a light brown pencil to sort of map out where I want the eyes to be. And I'm putting down some white. I'm going to have her eyes sort of going over to the side because I think that adds a little... Um, I don't know character to her to her face I like that sort of cutting eyes to the side look so we're gonna do that with her she has um, brown eyes in most of the pictures I've seen so we'll be going with that I'm putting a little bit of uh, pink down now and I'm quirking up the sides of her lips to see if we can get a little bit of a smile out of out of this uh, face but uh, she doesn't have that uh, the mold is, itself is not conducive to smiling so uh, we'll do what we can here just by putting a little curve up on the lips on the side and then I'm just sort of penciling in now where I want things to be based on the pictures and how her her facial features are she has sort of a high arched brow that's that fades out it doesn't it's not very thick and uh, when I put the crease over the eyes, I'm making them sort of like a, a curve, not going up on the end so that she has, uh, if you made those creases go up on the sides, it would be more of a sinister look. And now I put down some yellow on the bottom of the iris, and now I'm putting some brown down on the top. I want to have that yellow down at the bottom to give the eyes some dimension. And we're going to be putting in several colors on the iris to make it look really pretty and three-dimensional. And now I'm going to go ahead and color in the the pupils with black. And I'm putting some white in the, in the eyes as well. And we're going to have to put some more uh, layers of the matte varnish, matte uh, medium down to get that white to show up really well. So I'm just uh, layering my colors in now. I'm using some watercolor pencils on the lips, but I, I'm i going to end up having to use some um, some pastels because I just can't get it dark enough. And she has this really, really red lips, which is sort of uh, a trademark sign for for uh, Snow White. So, But this is just giving me a little bit of texture. I'm doing vertical lines to give it that um, look of the lip, you know, the creases in the lip. So here's where we are at this point, and I'm going to go off camera and put some more coats of matte medium down so we can layer some more color in. And after I did that, we're back now, and 
layering in some more color on top of the eyes. I want to get a little bit more dimension. And in the pictures that I'm seeing, you see the um, eyeliner, I guess it is, sort of coming around the edge of the eye, but not really going all the way under the eye. So I'm kind of leaving that without a line. As you can tell, I just have the white there. And um, what I'd like to do once I get the wig on and the clothes on is put some false lashes on this doll. I think it will uh, make it look a whole lot more like the Snow White in the pictures. And at this point, I am going to put some lashes on her with the pencil, but um, they're, they're, I don't think they're dominant enough to work. So now I'm going to use some red pastel to go in here. And one thing you have to really be careful about when you're using pastels, especially after I've made the skin so white, is that you don't get the white, this red powder, let it transfer to the white skin because you have that matte medium down and it's very sticky. Um, it has that tacky feel. So you have to be really careful when you're putting the red on that you don't allow that red to to uh, transfer or, or just, you know, with it, it being powdery, it can just sort of, uh, you know, blow off the face and land on the cheek or whatever. So I had a little issue, a couple issues here where the red was transferring and I'm just using a white eraser to try to get rid of some of those areas. You could also take a Q-tip and wet it and, and get that off, but you have to be careful when you wet wet it uh, also because uh, it can cause what you have already down to run. So when you're using uh, a face this pale, you really have to be careful. So I've tried to clean up the face a little bit and here's where we are at this point. I've put some more matte medium down and that also helped to make the lips uh, look smoother. They don't have um, a sort of patchy look now that I've put the the coating of the matte medium back down. So we're going to just go back in now and keep layering colors in. I want more white on the um, conjunctiva of the eyes and I also want to put some pastel shadows. I'm using a pink color above her eyes and I'm also going to use that on her cheeks. But if you look in some of the pictures, it looks like she has sort of a dark color right above the eye and then some pink that is shadow shadowing up over that higher on the lid. So I'm going to start with pink and put that shadow down just um, above the eye, coming up a little bit higher. And then I'm going to go back in later and put a little darker color right close to the eye. But this, I want to put this down first to get the, the nice smooth trans transition that we want to have when we use the dark color on top of it. So I'm using the pink and putting that down. And that looks pretty good. Just making it a little bit darker. These colors actually look darker to me when I'm doing it in person than they do on the video. So uh, now I'm going to take this brown, sort of reddish brown color and put that right over the eye. So there's a transition above the eye going from a darker color to the lighter pink. And then a little bit later, I'm going to put some uh, white up above that right on the brow bone. And I also felt like these, the eyes of some of the pictures, it looked like there was a silver color underneath the eye, sort of a silver eyeliner. And I can put that on later after I get everything done and the lashes on, but I'm not going to do that in this face up. Right now I'm just sort of putting down the basics. And when we finish everything, we can come back and do some touch-ups with real lashes and also uh, do a little bit more defining to the face. And now I'm going to put some pink on the cheeks. If you look at the pictures of Snow White, she she seems like she has this really <laughs> very, very pink color on her cheeks. And um, that seems to be one of the defining things about her face, that and the red lips. So uh, I'm building this color up using, I use a makeup brush for this because it's fluffier and it's thicker. 
uh, if you use a paintbrush, a lot of times it seems patchier. So um, I've bought uh, some makeup brushes that I use specifically with my dolls. And I'm just slowly layering it on because I don't like to to go too heavy at first. You know, it's it's um, it's a big mistake when you put too much <laughs> and then you can't get rid of it. If you start out with a little bit and build it up, you can always stop at some point. So just adding that really bright pink. And I'm putting a little bit of blue shadow on either side of the nose, around the eyes, a little bit of a, a brown color under the lips and on either side of the nose to give it a little bit more definition and shadow. And I'm using that sort of reddish brown pastel color that I used. And putting a little bit more white in the eyes to make them pop. And a little bit darker color. This is black that I'm using around the irises and uh, the highlight of the eyes on the eyeliner. I'm still not going to bring that eyeliner all the way around on the bottom. I just I like the way that looks with it it just being the white. And then we'll have some false lashes that we put on later that will really bring those eyes out, I think, a lot. And I'm just using a really sharp black pencil to mark in some some lashes. I want to have those on there and and then that'll be that'll be the base and we'll put some false lashes on top of that. And I'm just doing the lashes over on the sides, not all the way across on the bottom. And really just touching up areas now. I like the way the eyes look now. They have that nice dimension. Putting a little brown in the nostrils to make that look more realistic. And I'm liking the way this face is, is uh, turning out. I think, it, I think the eyes are really... Are really pretty and I think once we get the wig on this will all come together all right so there's where we are at this point yep I think it's turning out really good so the next thing I'm going to do is use some white acrylic paint and put a little sparkle in her eye and I'll do that before I put the final coat of the matte medium I mean, sorry, the matte varnish down to seal her face. So I'm just using the cap of the white paint because it's, it's got a little bit in the top. And then this uh, tool, that it's just a little ball tool. And I use that to put the little small dots on the eye. Some people use paintbrush for this. I'm, I don't know, I'm just too shaky to do it. I mean, I don't feel like I'm shaky, but when I try to do it, I'm shaky. So I use this little ball tool and it works really well. So I'm going to give her a little sparkle that gives her eyes a really realistic look as if the light is catching them. And there's our doll at this point. All right, so I'm going to take off, I'll go off camera and put some matte varnish on her face with my airbrush. This is the Liquitex matte varnish. And I put about three coats of that and let it dry. And then after that's on, I can come back and put some of the high gloss varnish, which is real shiny, and put that on just her eyes and her lips and give them a, a nice glistening look that makes them a little bit more realistic. And I just put a little dab out on a piece of wax paper. And I'm using a small paintbrush for that. And I actually put a couple of coats on. I only put one coat on on the camera just to save time but they these products work better when you use multiple thin coats as, as opposed to trying to put a really thick coat on so um, just take your time let that dry and it really turns out very nice all right so there she is next step we'll be doing her wig and then we'll get into the costume and some of the other parts of the doll so I hope you really enjoyed this video. I enjoyed doing this doll. I think her face turned out great. We have lots more to come with her wig, her costume, and maybe a few other surprises along the way. So give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and be sure and subscribe so you don't miss a thing coming up. Thanks and bye.